the all-seeing eye. Are the conspiracy theorists right this time about the power of the Masons? Are they an ancient order? Or a shadow government? A harmless social club? Or a satanic cult? What is the reality behind the Masonic conspiracy theories? It turns out there is less here than meets the all-seeing eye. <laughs> we reveal at last the truth of the Freemasons. Oh, yeah. Their knowledge of geometry and engineering makes them leading thinkers at a time of free thought and political change. But their symbols and secrecy make them suspect to kings and churches who don't like secrets or political change. Maybe they see this as part of a conspiracy and they're going to look for villains. And Freemasons make great villains. Freemasons make great villains. Freemasons make great villains. But in reality, their rituals are harmless and their symbols no more ominous than a company logo. There seem to be too many mysteries about the dollar bill for which Masonic imagery offers a plausible explanation. And the success of the film National Treasure suggests a public willingness to see hidden meanings in the mundane. It's December 1773. In a Boston tavern, a group of wealthy businessmen hold a secret meeting. Among them, Paul Revere and John Hancock, both are Freemasons. The Inn is a Masonic hangout. Tonight's agenda, however, is not ritual, but revolution. For years, these upper-class colonists have initiated members by acting out strange costume dramas. Now, fed up with English taxes, they dress up to initiate a new nation. They disguise themselves as Mohawk Indians, sneak aboard a British merchant ship, and dump a cargo of tea into the harbor. Citizens are burned up about unfair taxes. <laughs> this act of sabotage becomes known as the Boston Tea Party. Uh, they're going to take the tea and throw it in the harbor, of course, it's widely held to be a Masonic event. Two and a half years later, John Hancock and his brother Masons formally declare America's separation from Great Britain. At least nine, and perhaps as many as fifty Masons, sign their names to the Declaration of Independence. Without the Masons, there may never have been an independent America. But conspiracy theory holds that this government is not just dominated by Masons, but is controlled by them in secret. They even model their capital city on the cryptic geometry of the Masonic craft. Even more ambitious is the idea that the Masons established an entirely new country of their own. The United States. In America, Freemasonry no longer excites much interest. <laughs> Masonic icons appear throughout the bricks and marble facades of Washington. Even the laying of the cornerstone of the U.S. Capitol was overseen by George Washington dressed in full Masonic regalia. The gavel in American courtrooms comes from Masonic tradition. And the Washington street grid just north of the White House traces out a star which appears in Masonic symbolism, but which some insist is a satanic pentagram. There is also the shocking symbolism on the reverse of the U.S. dollar bill, all seeing eye atop a pyramid apparently referring to Egypt, whose images are duplicated whose images are duplicated 
whose images are duplicated throughout the U.S. Capitol. Some symbols attributed to the Masons aren't Masonic at all, like the Great Seal of the United States. The all-seeing eye above the pyramid is not Masonic, nor were the people who selected it. Non-Masons chose that design. Likewise, for the satanic pentagram supposedly formed by the streets of Washington. There are some uh, conspiracists that believe that the Freemasons made some kind of satanic symbol uh, just north of the White House with a, with a pentagram. But the pentagram's not even complete. Rhode Island Avenue doesn't go all the way to uh, Connecticut. Uh, if we're so darn powerful, how come we couldn't make a complete star? The pyramid is unfinished. If we're so darn powerful, how come we couldn't make a complete star? The pyramid is unfinished because it signifies a solid foundation for a country that's always a work in progress, but which some insist is a satanic pentagram. So despite being at the root of so much dispute, the symbolism hidden on the unused reverse of the Great Seal made it onto the dollar bill through the actions of Henry Wallace and one of the most powerful Freemasons of all time, the 32nd President of the United States, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Wallace well understood the importance of symbolism as an effective means of communication. And as a Freemason, he was struck by the image of the pyramid with the all-seeing eye above it. It is possible that Franklin and Wallace, uh, as Freemasons, were familiar with the all-seeing eye as a symbol of God because they had looked at Renaissance uh, drawings or paintings where it's used. But for whatever reason they may have thought it as a, an appropriate symbol of God, uh, that's not a bad idea to remind the citizens uh, that God oversees everything they do when they pull out the dollar bill. Conspiracy theorists think there's much more to it than that. The Masons have to conceal their hidden agenda, their secret agenda for the United States. Historians agree that the Freemasons did play a central role in the birth of America and have continued to hold positions of power ever since, with 14 known Masonic presidents. They find no evidence of the plot for world domination. The anti-Masonic ideas that come about, especially from the 1770s onwards, are put about by fundamental Christians, by people who believe that these people were uh, intrinsically anti-Christian. I think that uh, a lot of this has got to do with that fear of the unknown, if you like. Conspiracy theorists believe it is a covert declaration of intent from the Freemasons. as an appropriate symbol of God. As an appropriate symbol of God. as an appropriate symbol of God. There seems little doubt that the imagery of the dollar bill holds important clues. But whether this was ever part of some broader Masonic conspiracy remains a mystery.